Hey everybody, welcome to my top 5 favorite Steel-type Pokemon up until Gen 7. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Number 1, or number 5 I should say, is Aegislash. Now, I love Aegislash, because I actually had an Aegislash on my Ghost playthrough of Pokemon X and Y. Um, I loved using Aegislash because it was such a great fighter and has a physical, physical and not a physical wall, a defensive wall, so it's a great Pokemon to use for either setup, however you want to do it, and I just really enjoy the Pokemon. Number four is Excadrill. Now, Excadrill is a Pokemon I actually recently started using in my um, online showdown leagues that I've been a part of. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a good ability, and it has a good use of the Steel Rock and Ground Typing as a move set. I just love using it, and it's pretty powerful when you can set up. Moving on to number three is Empoleon. Empoleon is one of the only steel is one of the only. I think Empoleon is the only steel type final evolution of a starter Pokemon, and I think it's just cool that a water type Pokemon got a steel typing with it because it's just so powerful. And I just like the bulkiness of Empoleon, and I just think it's a really great design and a really great Pokemon um, based off of Poseidon, sort of with the face mask type thing. Number two is Metagross. Now, number one and number two are very, very closely interchangeable with me, but um, one just beat it out just barely. But Metagross is such a great Pokemon. Um, the Mega Form is beast, so fast. Um, but I just like the Steel and uh, Psychic type supercomputer design based on this thing. It's just a total beast to kill it. And I actually was going to use it in my Sun playthrough, but um, I decided I wanted to try to use some more new Pokemon, so I threw in an Alolan Ninetales, and I fell in love with that Ninetales. But I do like the shiny form a little bit, I think just a little bit better, but it's overused, so it depends on the day. Here are some honorable mentions now, Bisharp is a cool, cool dark and dark and steel type Pokemon. Um, the Yateen is one of the great moves it gets access to, which is an okay KO move that just kills something if it um, fights it, which is pretty cool. And Jirachi, the Wishmaker Pokemon, is such a great Pokemon. I love its um, Steel type move. I can't remember what it is, but it's basically a Future Sight, but Steel type. It's really cool, and I had it on my Jolteon in um, my Pokemon Fire Red playthrough, which was a uh, Shock Lock. Cool. Moving on, number one is Lucario. Now, I just fell in love with Lucario the first time I saw it in the Lucario movie. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Um, it's a great movie. It's one of the only legendaries that, one of the only non legendaries that has got a Pokemon movie. It's pretty cool. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing the new ones that are coming out in Sun and Moon. But Lucario is a great Pokemon. Actually, is the founder of Mega Evolution, according to most things and X and Y sort of alludes to it because the first time you get to see Mega Evolution is in the, uh, it was by the third gym leader who has two Lucarios as well as you get a Lucario with a Mega Stone as your first Mega Pokemon that you can use in the game and it's really awesome how they have the lore behind this Lucario. I just, I just find it awesome. And as well as the aura, the aura story behind it, it's just really great and I just love Lucario. It's Probably one of the well, most well thought out and well backed Pokemon out there. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more content from me. Also, comment your favorite Steel types in the comments below so I can see how we differ. And please leave an analysis of why you like those Pokemon so I can see your viewpoint on the, your Steel types. Well, that's all I have for you today. So thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm Chaos May 006. Smell you later.